So welcome to Intro to Art. Today is May 21st. Um, like usual, try to have a paper, pencil, and if you can, an eraser in order to complete your task for today. Um, let's do our stress check. I know we did it this morning, but I want to see if it's improved. I know that. And then I think the, um, okay, is that what you had this morning? Um, we're going to draw a bunny rabbit. We're going to learn about texture and understand the techniques of an artist that are used to show how something might feel or what it is made of in an artwork. Okay. Before we um, go into that, we're going to look at our do now for today. So this is the image for today. Um, this is the picture we're looking at. And this is where you're going to go ahead into your do now and type in what is happening in this picture. How do you know? And then you're going to also type in what caption would you give this image. Okay. Keep on going. So like I said, I do think it's maybe like a Mother's Day celebration. I'm just trying to see their loved ones on Mother's Day. But based on this um, situation with the coronavirus, it's not possible. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. Might be something completely different. That's just what I think based on the images. Um, but today we're going to create a bunny rabbit. We're going to create an original artwork of a bunny rabbit indicating a furry texture with short hatch lines. And then we're going to shade. The main point of this is to show texture. Notice that um, this bunny doesn't look just like a bunny. It looks like a very furry bunny. Right? Do you see that, Victor? So our vocabulary today are um, the words hatching. And they're closely spaced parallel lines. So if I were to, oops, oh, I did not mean to do all that. I didn't even know I was writing on it. Um, hatching would be closely spaced parallel lines. Okay, that's hatching. Texture is the way something looks like it might feel in an artwork. Simulated textures are suggested by an artist with different brush strokes, pencil lines, etc. So texture helps you determine what it feels like. Some words that, descri that describe um, various textures are flat, something might look flat, smooth, shiny, glossy, glittery, velvety, feathery, soft, wet, gooey, furry, sandy, leathery, crackled, prickly, abrasive, rough, furry, um, bumpy, corrugated, corrugated, I can't even pronounce it well, puffy, rusty, slimy, and other words like that. Okay, those are all texture words. So let's start with our drawing. Our first step is to draw an oval. What do you think that's going to be? Body. Mm -hmm, I think so too. Once you have that, you're going to go ahead and add an egg shape. Make sure that the egg shape overlaps. Okay, so you're not going to do it all over here separately, it has to kind of overlap. From here, would it be we're going to add three skinny ovals for legs. Um, so you would add one oval here. We would add something that overlaps here. Another one here. So those are your three. And then we also add a circle. Notice that they ask you to erase a dotted area. So anything that's dotted on here, we're going to go ahead and erase. Um, Ignore mine though, I have to do a different process in order to be able to erase. So you're left with something that looks like this. Now, our next step is to add the ears, face, and circle feet. So I'm going to start off with the feet. 
I'm going to add those circles. And notice it says that circles do overlap. Okay. And then I'm going to add some eyes. And the way I'm going to do my eyes is I'm going to make these like that and then add the, the shape. Although I don't know if they should be darkened. Let me change that. But you draw this line, draw that line, that that line, and then we're gonna go ahead and erase a few chunks. And then we're gonna go back over, erase. Ooh, let me fix that leg. Ooh, let me fix that leg too. Oh, my whole drawing is gone, but let me fix it. We still have to add texture to it. So we're gonna add zigzag lines for fur. So notice how they kind of go around the shape. The shape of the circle is just to guide you. And then this is where, I know it seems like a lot, but this is where you're supposed to be adding details. So one of the details will be the skinny oval in the ear. Why? Well, I, I don't know if I'd call that an oval. Um, a small bump dent. So we might add something here, like a little bump. Add a lip. Mm -hmm. Add some like some toes. So you add two lines on each foot to show three toes. And not just on the front ones, make sure you add some to that back one too. And then erase that circle inside the tail. And then if you're ready, this is where it has to go from looking like that to that all of a sudden. I know. But the best Thing to do is just to add the fuzzy edges and start shading. So you might want to start adding a little bit of hairs down the line. Just to start showing the fur, you want to make sure that it looks furry. You don't want to make it look hairy like I did here at the back, just furry. So you just add the little lines um, 
along the lines that you already made. You don't want them to stick out. It's more of like, they're kind of just extended, extending the thing. There you go. Um, might add some whiskers. Might actually color in the eyes this time. And then you just add any little detail that you feel like you want to add. You might want to start shading things in. Just to start making it look even better. I think I'm going to leave mine as is just because with this tool, I know how hard it is to make it seem decent. And I think this is as decent as it's going to get. Yeah. 